Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to another weekly video. Um, thank you guys for coming back and hanging out with me, JD. All right, so today we are going to go over our memory verse and our emotions. But before we do that, I want you guys to answer the question of the month again. All right, and so our question of the month is who loves you no matter what? All right, now do you guys remember the answer to that question? Who loves you no matter what? Yes, God loves you no matter what. Awesome job. All right, so our memory verse is trust in the Lord with all your heart, Proverbs 3, 5. Okay, and our emotions with it are trust in the Lord with all of your heart, Proverbs 3, 5. Now, can you do it with me? You ready? Trust in the Lord with all your heart, Proverbs 3, 5. All right, now I want you to whisper it. We're gonna say it. We're gonna whisper it, okay? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3 5. All right, now we're gonna shout it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3 5. All right, guys, good job. Now, what does that mean? What does it mean to trust in the Lord with all your heart? It means that whatever is going on in your life, whenever, whenever things are hard, whenever things are easy, no matter what, we are to trust God with everything that we have. All right? That's exactly what that is talking about. All right. I'm so excited to hear about the story later on today, and I will hope to see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> So like, no matter what I know, no matter where we go, he loves us. It's awesome. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down. I'm so excited because my Aunt Rosa sent me this! 
It says to Luca right there. Do you want to see what it is? You can help open it up. On the count of three, say ta-da. One, two, three, ta-da. What is this? Oh, it's a book for making faces. I can take all these fun stickers and put them on any face that I want. Let's try one. This is so silly. Can you oink like a pig? Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Let's do another one. Can you imagine having that many eyes? You can see things in the back of your head. Let's do one more. I love Aunt Rose's gift. Making faces makes me feel so... Hello, Luca. Ho, ho. Feeling happy today, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. My Aunt Rosa sent me these faces to make with stickers. And they are so fun. I can see it's a happy day for you. And I know someone else who was happy, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta da! <laughs> They're my party cupcakes because the true story I have to tell you will make you want to have a party. <laughs> It's a happy story. So if you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about Abraham and Sarah. Look at their faces. Are they sad? No. Are they afraid? No. Are they frustrated? No. What are they feeling? Happy. You're right. Abraham and Sarah were so happy. Do you know why? Because God gave them a family. They had waited so long for this special day. In fact, hold your arms out as long as you can. Stretch longer and longer. <laughs> That's still not long enough because Abraham and Sarah waited a long, long time to have a family. Okay, you can put your arms down now. And now their son was here. Do you know what Sarah did? She started laughing. <laughs> Everybody laugh with me. <laughs> Sarah was so happy and thankful. Sarah praised God and wanted everyone to know that God gave them a family and that made them so happy. Later, Abraham and Sarah had a big party to celebrate. It was such a happy time. They had lots of food to eat and invited their friends to celebrate their family with them. They were so happy. Do you ever feel happy? Me too. Show me your happy face. <laughs> what great happy faces you have. We can feel happy when the sun is shining. 
We can feel happy when we watch a funny show. We can feel happy when we spend time with our friends. God loves you when you're happy. God loves you no matter what. Do you know what? Knowing that God loves me no matter what makes me happy. <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God loved Sarah and Abraham when they were happy. And God loves us no matter what, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God loved Abraham and Sarah when they were happy. And God loves us no matter what, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. God loves us no matter what. And that makes me feel like celebrating. I'm gonna have a party with my friends and we can all make fun faces together. This calls for balloons. See you next time. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5.